hey guys it's phase one here now as of this recording it's may 14th now which means we're just about two weeks away from june 1st now why is that exciting is the fact that star season 3.10 is just about to come out cig is about to give out more information about the patch but what i like to go through today is five reasons why you should be excited for this new upcoming patch all right so let's get into it so when I say reasons, I'm actually talking about five confirmed features for this upcoming patch. What I recommend is you watch this video all the way through to the end so that way you don't miss the most exciting feature for this upcoming patch. All right, before we move forward, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you don't miss future videos like this. All right, so the first feature I want to talk about is the shop additions to New Babbage. Now, let's quickly read over the card. Introducing a novelty kiosk in the New Babbage spaceport interior, which will sell souvenirs and knickknacks. Also coming to the spaceport is the factory line and a flagship store to Makotep, which sells the top of the line products, such as Moby Glass, sim pods and various computer items right so now this is exciting because think about a moby glass does this mean this is going to be our first time to be able to buy different kinds of moby glass is it you know is it going to give us the ability to buy different ones with different colors and different customizations maybe different models of moby glass like the old ones i remember the old ones the old ones were pretty cool like if they gave us the ability to get different ones and get new ones upgrade them and things of that nature I, I remember one time they actually mentioned that we could even upgrade them and modify our moby glasses and things of that nature that was a while back um yeah so i think that's very exciting so also now when they mention sim pods now think about it now sim pods are in our hangers now i don't remember the last time i went to my hangar i don't know about you but does this mean they're going to give us reasons to go to our hangar right i think this might be a feature that would allow us to customize our hangers right because if there's a store where you can buy sim pods that means you buy it and then you'll be able to place it in your hanger and things of that nature i don't know i'm just speculating maybe that's that's uh i'm just thinking out of i'm just dreaming about it i don't know what it is but i think that's exciting um so now the last part here is says various computer related items now think about it now i'm thinking server racks right reason why i'm saying server racks is they sell high-tech items at microtech right so why not the server racks that we're going to be having for our exploration ships maybe the medical ships and things of that nature these high-tech ships that we have we're going to need server racks to be able to um extract data from our exploration journeys and things of that nature and i think this might be the first time we're gonna see server racks and how they're gonna look like in different models and things of that nature i find that very exciting all right all right so the second reason why you be, should be excited for the next upcoming patch is the grim hex improvements now let's quickly go over the card it says finalizing the grim hex and making it a complete landing zone um main changes will include new location branded utilitarian hangars accessible by the main hub a scramble racing feature and additional content now for those that like to frequent a lot at grim hex especially pirates and things of that nature i think it's going to be exciting because now you're going to be able to fit your bigger ships at grim hex right mostly usually when i'm flying with my bigger ships like my carrick i can't go to grim hex so i don't even bother going there like usually all the stars that i go to but now if they're giving us the ability to land our larger ships there i think it's exciting it gives us more to do when it comes to that area of space right and when it comes to scramble racing for those that love racing this is going to be really good for you guys because it's going to be interesting to be able to see races i remember they mentioned that they're going to uh give us the ability to be able to bet on players and things like that and and make money off off of the winnings of those things so i think that's very exciting so let's quickly go to the next one the third reason why you should be excited 
is the AI cover system, right? The AI cover usage version one. Let's quickly go over this. It says expanding tactics selection for NPC human combat to analyze an environment, the environment and detect. In absence of full coverage, possible positions where they will engage enemies without full expose, with, without fully exposed to them. This includes objects, objects like crates, which could potentially provide partial coverage. Now, why do I find this exciting? Is those people that like FPS in the game, right? You like to go to Korea and fight the NPCs. You know what I mean? There's hardly any opportunity to, to do FPS in the game and Korea and those, um, those underground locations, I forget what they call them, but that's going to be very exciting because now the NPCs are going to be more, um, it's going to be more harder to engage them because now they're going to be more intelligent, right? They're going to be using cover this time instead of just standing there and just waiting for it to be shot. You know what I mean? So I think it's going to be exciting for those that love that part of the game, right? So now the second, the, the fourth item that i want to go over is the targeting system right the targeting system right here let's quickly read over the card now the fundable changes to targeting and tracking on and off your screen with the ui updates to improve the visibility of locks and tracking targets and the return of pin targets right this is very exciting because I remember right now when I play the game and sometimes I'm, I'm fighting NPCs or fighting players, sometimes I'm struggling to find out where they are, especially when they swing out of my field of view, right? Like it's very hard for me to find out which direction they went and then like I usually spend some time trying to find the, the UI element which points me in their direction, you know what I mean? So I think this is going to be really great, this is going to be really exciting. And I hope they really implement it well because this is important when it comes to combat, right? I spend a lot of time trying to find the NPC instead of actually killing the NPC or the player, right? So I think it's really good. I think I, I think I love that the fact that they're bringing that out. And um, this also goes hand in hand with the ship UI. Um, uh, rework that they're going to be putting in right so look at this card right here it says as we all adopt our in-game ui and use the new building blocks ui system we've taken the opportunity to redesign the ship ui and make many much needed improvements i think this is going to be exciting because the annoying chat box that's always in the way <laughs> i'm sure they're going to rework that and it's going to be it's going to make things more fluid and more ergonomic and um i think it's exciting i think it's exciting piece um, um for this upcoming patch and now the last thing that i like to go over is what i feel is the most exciting piece right here and that's called body dragon Man, I think this is going to expand the game so much, right? Let's quickly go over the card. It says, implementing initial fundamental for players to move an incapacitated player, dead or dead NPC, by dragging the body around in an environment. Now, think about it, right? This clues me in to a possible surprise that CIG might bring out, right? This, this might be... A reason for them to start putting NPCs on ground planet side, right? I think CIG might surprise us. I'm speculating here. There's no guarantees here, but what I'm saying is CIG might surprise us with a feature where NPCs are now on ground on planets or on moons or at outposts walking around and things like that i think that would be very exciting because just imagine if they create missions where you have to go and rescue an npc or get a target especially for a bounty hunt and you have to drag them to your ship possibly and also this is the initial implementation for the medical gameplay that they've been talking about this whole time right so i think this is the by far the most exciting feature because it's going to expand our gameplay so much right so what do you think is the most exciting feature in the upcoming patch star citizen alpha 3.10 let me know in the comments below 
make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell for that notification for videos such as this i will see you on the next one